And up next, it's a new life-saving test that every woman needs to know about. It's not a mammogram. We're going to tell you what it is and show you how it works after the break. You've probably heard the expression that knowledge is power, and when it comes to breast cancer, the mammogram is the gold standard. But now there's another test that every woman needs to know about. Absolutely. That's right. It's called the halo, and it's just like a breast pap smear, and it is a breakthrough in screening tests for breast cancers for women. Um, this, is, this is really the cutting edge right now. Well, Dr. Lisa recently performed the halo on a patient. Many of you will probably recognize it's Crystal Hunt, who stars on ABC's One Life to Live. I got a call from my mother in February this year, and she was crying, telling me they found something abnormal on her mammogram. When they did the side view, it looked just like a white pea, and I knew right then and there it was cancer. I was scared to death, because out of five people in my family who've had cancer, only one survived. Crystal is too young to have a mammogram. I'm looking forward to having the halo test done because I want to stay up on my health. I want to know what's going on in my body. And to think that anybody would miss their, their checkups or just say, oh, I'll do it next year. It's like, no, you only have one life and you only have one chance and it's only one time around. So you kind of should probably do it this time. Hello, Crystal. How are you doing? Good. So you're here for the halo test, right? Yep. All right. I'm Dr. Masterson. Nice to meet you. It's a five-minute um, breast assessment tool. What it does is collect um, nipple aspirate fluid. And we're going to attach these on, get you in the right. The whole thing is centering the nipple. You're going to feel some suction, some warmth. That's when actually all the pressure comes on. We'll collect some fluid around the nipple or either in the cup. If you don't have any um, nipple aspirate fluid or fluid come out, that's actually a normal test. But if we get something, then we'll see if it's normal or abnormal cells, and then we'll send it off to the lab. And we'll get back to you in a couple days about the results, okay? Crystal is here with us today. Thanks for being with us. Yeah, thank you. You know, the halo test that we did there, and um, this test is such a breakthrough in medicine for breast cancer screening because the best thing to do for breast cancer is breast cancer prevention, and if we, we need better screening tools. It's not a replacement for the mammogram, as Crystal knows, um, but basically it's a five-minute breast assessment tool, and um, you know, what, what, what we want to do is collect nipple aspirate fluid. And that's just like a breast pap smear. Basically, we look at the cells to see if they're normal or abnormal. And this doesn't mean you have cancer if you have abnormal cells. It just means you're at higher risk. It's great for someone young because we don't have a lot of screening tools um, for younger women. And a lot of the cancers in younger women are much more aggressive. Um, you have a much more higher mortality rate if you develop breast cancer right after um, having a baby. So we really need to target the younger women um, as far as screening assessment tools. And this is great. It wasn't that bad, was it? No, definitely not. So we're going to give you the results. OK, cool. They were normal. Yay! Yes. know is when you don't get any fluid, that's actually a normal result because not all women, especially young women, will produce nipple aspirate fluids. And we do have a special guest with us today. Crystal's mom, Nada, is with us in the audience. So how are you doing today? I just feel like I've been blessed by God because they found it early and now I am a cancer survivor completely. To get more cancer survivors. And we actually have a graphic here to show you what the cells look like. You have your normal cells and you have the abnormal cells. And basically, again, abnormal cells does not mean cancer, but it means that you do need to talk to a breast specialist or your gynecologist or something like that to see if you want to, again, make lifestyle changes, talk about medication, more screening, earlier screening, things like that. Crystal, thank you for demonstrating this important yes. screening tool for all of us. But what is next is are you thinking about changing your...